Have you ever wondered what you need to know to make a children's book in Canva for Amazon KDP? In this video, I'm going to show you the simple step you need to follow to get your Canva children's book ready for Amazon KDP and start creating passive income. So let's get started. The first thing we need to create our storybook is the script for the story. And to do that, we will go to ChatGPT and insert our prompt. And I'm going to be using this prompt. Write a useful story for children with a valuable lesson. And I'm just going to let it write. So I'm just going to go and copy all of this, my story. And I'm just going to come and paste it in my sheets form. Pasting it. I'm using Google Sheets, but Excel also works too. So what I will do is I'm just going to make sure that I don't leave any space between that text. So I'm just going to start to scroll all the text parts all the way to the top. When it's ready, download it as a CSV. And to do this, we're just going to go over here. And then in download, we're just going to keep it as a CSV format. Now I'm going to go into the Canva homepage. And on here, I'm going to click in create a design. I'm going to click also in custom size. I'm going to make sure it's in inches. And then on here, I'm going to click by 8.5 times 8.5. And I'm going to click in create new design. I'm using this format as it is a commonly used in KDP books. Now let's create the first page of our storybook. This is crucial because it says the tone for the rest of our book. So I'm just going to start by adding my main character. As we saw in the storybook, it's going to be a bunny. So you can go into Canva and then just start to look for some elements to add it. So I'm just going to be using this one. I'm going to go and click in see more like this. And as you can see, this is the pre-made characters that Canva already have. So I'm just going to start by adding this one in here because it's a bunny. So I'm just going to be adding this one in here. And I'm also going to be changing the background of my storybook because I don't really like it. So I will go to this section, add a new color and I will click on here and I can get a color from in here. So maybe like a purple and I can keep playing with the intensity of the purple on here. So I think I do like this. I'm going to keep it on here, maybe lower. So now we have ready our character. What I will do is I will add my text. And to do this, I'm just going to go to the text section on here. And then I will add a subtitle on here. I will leave it over here. And I'm going to look for a more kids friendly font. And to do this, I'm just going to go select it. And then I will go to this section on here. I will click on it. And on here, I can search for different types of fonts. So I can get something more kids. So we can go to the part of school. Something like this. It's also nice. I think I will use this one. And I will also recommend you to add a frame. And to do this, we will go to the element section and we can go and scroll down. And we have the section of frames on here. And I will go and see all of them. So I will see which one I like. We can go for blob and I will go and click see all again. I will move my character over here and then I'm going to be using this one. I think it will look better. So I will place it on here. And there we go. We already have our character, our frame and the text box. So now that I already have this complete, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the section of apps and on here I will go and search for bold book and I will see we have to find this book create and we're going to click on it. On here, what we have to do is we have to go and select upload data. So here is my rabbit storybook and I will click in open. What I have to do now is connect our text to the text box. And to do this, we're just going to click in connect data. It appears on here for me, but if it doesn't appear, you can go and click in the three dots and it will also appear in this section on here. So connect data and I will click in my story. And we can go and see how it's going to look. So I will make it smaller so everything does fit in here. 
so something like this and once we already connect our information what we have to do now is clicking continue and it's going to show us the 10 chapters we pre-made in our google sheets and i will click in generate 10 design so as you can see now it already add the text for our storybook so we don't have to worry about copy and paste all the time the text we're just going to use this bull create tool to add our complete story. So now that we already have our text on here, we can do two things. We can go and search for images that are related to this. So we can search for wood and we can go to the section of photos. And on here we can search for something that works for our storybook. So we can add something like this. Otherwise, if you want to get more detail in your storybook, what you can do is you can go to AI image generation and we're going to click in generate your own. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a section of my storybook. So one sunny morning and I will go and paste it on here. I will add one sunny morning in the forest because it's what our storybook tell us. So on here we can choose a style, so because it's for children, I will use the uh, watercolor style and I will also change the aspect ratio, I will leave it as a landscape so it does fit in our frame. And I will just click in generate image. So as you can see now, Canva already generated some images for us to use. So I can go and click on it and then I can just add it into my frame. I will double click on it so I can use the specific part that I want to get from here. So maybe something like this. Otherwise, if you didn't like any of these or you just like one of them, maybe let's say this one, you can go and click in the three dots and we click in generate more like this and we're going to click again. So Canva will generate images like that one. So I do like this one more, so I will go and click over it and just add it on here. So as you change the page of your storybook, you can also go to the elements and on here we're going to click and see all. And from this, we can go and see again more like this and we can find again our characters on here. So maybe I will be using this one for the next one. So I can use the same bunny but with the different position. And we do all this process with each of the pages. Now we can move on in the creation of our cover. And to do this, we have to come to this page, kdp.amazon.com cover calculator. On here, we're just going to fill all the details for our cover book. So I'm just going to be adding all the details for this. And in this section, it's very important. We choose 8.5 8 times 8.5 because it's the same size that we create our book in Canva. And there we go. We're going to go and click in calculate the dimensions. And on here we already have the template for our book. So I'm just going to go and click in download this template. I will leave the link of this page in the description in case that you also want to get your template for your cover book. We can go to the Canva homepage and on here we're going to click again in create a design and custom size. And for this, in width, we're going to leave it in 17 and height is going to be the same, 8.5. And we're going to click in create design. Now that we already opened our design, we got to go to the upload section on here and we got to click in upload file. And on here we're going to search for the template that we download in the calculator page and we're going to open it and I will open it in my Canva design and I will pull it till it has the same size that my design. So here what I would recommend you to do is just add the borders of this uh, template so we don't miss the measurements of our cover book. So I'm just going to go click over it and then I'm going to click in uh, lock position so I can start to add my borders and if you don't see very well because of the color you can go and click on the transparency and we can make it more transparent 
to see if we are placing it in the in the right way so i'm just gonna place it a bit we can go up more close to see if it fits good there we go here and we can go again transparency and all the way till 100 and now we do have our borders now you can go and delete the lock and you can go and delete this ones and i would recommend you also to lock this one so we select over it and we go and click in lock so now we can start with the design of our cover page so i can start by add my main character in here we can even change the color of the background so i will make like a light purple so it's more visually appealing now you can finish the last details of the cover and now your children's book for amazon kdp is ready and that's it if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more content thank you for watching and see you in another video